Well, it's a, it's an amazing thing, but I've never, I've never, I don't think I've ever said that I'm a production designer without somebody saying what does a production designer do. And I don't know why, but it, I think it's partly because it's a, it's a relatively complicated role because it has its hand in many aspects of the of the film process. When someone says they design the costume, it's relatively simple to to understand that. And the director of photography, it's about lighting. It's fairly clear, but. Um, I actually think the production designer's role is relatively straightforward. It's, it's the, the responsibility is for the look of the film and for the look of the frame that frames the actors and the story. And it's really everything to do with that responsibility. Um, the production designer has to choose the location, so a location manager is part of his team, um, design the sets, and that becomes the art department. It's the it's the illustrators, the set designers, the art directors, um, and indirectly then you hire the construction coordinators, so all of the construction crew is part of your responsibility, the painters, the sculptors, the plasterers. Um, in sort of, uh, the, uh, the other important part of that is the set decorator. Um, set decorator and art director and production designer are the kind of triumvirate, um, a collaborative team in the design department and I work very closely with set decorator always and that job is all about what the actors sit on, you know, what they sleep in, on, what they what they hang on their walls, you know, the actual decoration of the space, whether it's a location or a set. Um, but then you become very closely involved because the, the production designer is usually the first hire after the director and the producer. We start very, very early on because there's so much preparation involved in the design of a film. Um, so part of the responsibility I consider to be mine is to inform the rest of the crew as they come on, give them as clear an idea as possible of the kind of framework and the look of the film so that when they start they have essentially kind of a, they, they step right into the world that we're creating. So we always surround ourselves with, with a, a kind of library of images on the walls. We make it, we make an environment for people that they really can kind of understand. Um, but, but you, you end up um, working very closely with the costume designer and the director of photography. Um, those are the kind of, outside the director, those are the, the key positions that you're collaborating with outside your own department. Um, then stunts and special effects and visual effects. Um, and then grip and electric through the director of photography. So it, it becomes very integrated. And then the whole production team, because a big part of the job is you know, making the money stretch far enough to build the sets and, and create that magical thing called production value, where what goes on the screen you know, is making best use of the money that you're, that you're given to, to design with.